Hey y'all, today I'm going to show you how to make homemade tater soup in your Instant Pot. Start by rinsing, scrubbing, and peeling your russet taters, then cut into cube shapes. You'll also want to dice up one medium sweet Vidalia onion. Then add butter and olive oil to your Instant Pot. Press saute. Make sure it's on high heat. Press start and give it about 10 minutes to heat up. Once heated, this is when you want to cook your raw bacon, but I'm not using raw bacon. I'm going to use fully cooked. It's going to save about 10 to 12 minutes for me. Then just add your onions, season with a little salt and black pepper. Saute these for about five to seven minutes until soft. Then add your dried thyme and your minced garlic. Stir that around for just about a minute, just until that garlic becomes fragrant. Then add your all-purpose flour and stir this about five minutes until well absorbed and the raw flour flavor has been cooked out. Next, add your chicken broth and use a wooden spoon to deglaze the bottom of that pot. Then add your half and half, your taters, seasoned generously with kosher or sea salt and black pepper. Put the lid on and make sure the pressure switch on the lid is set to the sealed position. Press cancel to cancel out the saute function. Then press pressure cook. Adjust your cook time to only eight minutes. Then press start. After eight minutes cook time, let the pot naturally release for about five minutes. After five minutes, move the switch on the lid to the vent position and wait for that pin to drop before you remove the lid. Once that pin drops, it's safe to remove the lid. Give your soup a stir. Now, if you find your soup is too soupy for you, there's a couple things you can do. You can take a tater masher and mash some of those taters. If it's still too soupy for you, use equal amounts of cornstarch and cool water. Mix this until smooth and then add that to the pot. Next, press the saute button. Bring it to a boil and let it boil for about one minute and your soup should be perfect. Next, bowl up, hit it with some crisp bacon, shredded cheddar cheese, and green onion chives, and enjoy a delicious, easy to make potato soup. Thanks so much for stopping by. Leave a comment. I'll answer every one of you. Till next time. Bye-bye, y'all.